Hello there everyone, welcome back to a brand new Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. For this brand new review, it will be on one of my favorite characters from the Phantom Menace Wave, and it is Anakin Skywalker. A really interesting figure, and there's a, quite a few things that you guys will definitely like about this figure in particular. Let's go over the packaging first. You have the Phantom Menace logo up top, which looks really nice. Anakin Skywalker's name up here. A really great image of Anakin. Not the best, of course, but I wouldn't really expect Hasbro to pick any other kind. Since he really was only seen briefly like this at the end of the film. Okay, You have the figure in the bubble. Now on the back, you have the new 12 back look. Which you can see all the action figures that are available in the wave as well as the vintage collection vehicles so that's mainly it for the packaging Okay. now this figure brings quite a good amount of accessories it brings the uh, training helmet right here which is really nicely painted and detailed Okay. it also brings this probe droid here or training droid, whatever you'd like to call it. You could take it off the stand if you'd like. It has like a little bolt joint as well, so... I wouldn't really see why you would want to take it off, but it's there just in case you'd like to. Okay, he also brings his trusty lightsaber and a lightsaber hilt, but we'll go over that in just a moment. Let's go over his articulation. He has a ball jointed neck, Ball in shoulders and elbows, swivel wrist, swivel waist, uh, I think swivel hips, let's double check. Yes, swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. So articulation on this figure is really, really good. Um, uh, let's just take a look at his lightsabers. Lightsaber hilt is really cool. Has some nice detailing on it. This Anakin is more like sort of a Phantom Menace slash Expanded Universe Anakin since he has a lot of training accessories with him that we never really got to see in the film. Okay. We never got to see this kind of lightsaber in the film either. We had, we saw, yeah, he didn't even have a uh, lightsaber clipped onto his belt in the film at the end, so um, it's kind of cool that Hasbro kind of gave him a nifty looking lightsaber hilt. Really different from the one he ends up in Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. Now the blue on this hilt is actually kind of light, it's not really a blue um, color per se, it's more of a clear water kind of blue, I guess. But it's still cool. Um, the figure looks great, you know, he doesn't look like Jake Lloyd that much, but I think it's still a really cool Anakin Skywalker, no doubt. The detail on his clothes is really, really cool. The belt, little pouches there, you have some soft goods here mixed in with plastic so overall I think it's really cool it's a little Padawan tail or braid whatever you'd like to call it um, definitely a very cool action figure and me being a huge Anakin fan I definitely appreciate this figure a lot and it really goes in well with the other previous Anakin Skywalkers that have been released in the vintage collection line which was um, him as a full-grown Padawan learner from Attack of the Clones Wave, which was Peasant Disguise Anakin, and the Revenge of the Sith Anakin, or Darth Vader figure that was released in um, Wave 2 back in 2010. So it's really cool to have three Anakins displayed together from a child to basically Darth Vader. So it's definitely an interesting figure. From 1 to 10, I definitely give this figure I give him a solid 10. Accessories really good. Details on this figure is good. You can't really ask for much from this figure. Um, and Hasbro just gave us a little extra. So I definitely give this figure a, a, a solid 10. No doubt about it. Let me give you guys a quick comparison to the original release. Okay, now I reviewed this figure too, so I'll put the link down in the description box below. So you guys can check out that old review. 
you can see a huge amount of difference. This one never even included a lightsaber, it included a comm link for whatever reason. But still really cool to have. So this is my review on Anakin. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Please stick around because there will be more Phantom Menace action figures to be reviewed. Um, please follow me on Facebook. Comment below and tell me what you guys think. And if you guys like my reviews, please subscribe, okay? Thanks a lot for watching. And until next time, may the Force be with you.